So here is the turbos that came from Spectrum. These are their 47R. Came exceptionally well packaged. Um, came with this um, expandable foam and covered in plastic so that way nothing drops into any area. Um, it actually also came with this covering everything so it was completely sealed. There was no uh, issue whatsoever with this thing. It was really well packaged. But I'll just pull these things out so we can take a look at them. Alright guys, the uh, audio from the video that I recorded earlier got a little bit messed up, so I'm actually going to do this a uh, voiceover style. Um, so anyway, first things first, the Spectrum Motorsports. So these turbos that I ordered from Spectrum, these guys were great to deal with. Uh, communication was easy via email. I went back and forth with them probably a dozen different times trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to spec my turbos out. Um, Chris from Spectrum was helpful and very patient with me. Um, some of the reason why we went back and forth so many times was because I wasn't actually sure what my engine, uh, I wasn't actually sure what my engine build was going to be yet. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was going to stay stock displacement or if I was going to do a stroker or whether I was going to do a V cam. Um, anyway, he ended up, um, he ended up guiding me and helping me come to the right conclusion on what I should get for these turbos. Um, so I can't say enough good things about that. So overview for the 47R turbos from Spectrum, they actually have a uh, range of turbos that they offer. There are four of them. They have the 45R, the 47R, the 48X, and they also have something that they call a 42R, but those are actually exclusive specs that Spectrum manufactures for UP Garage out in Washington. Um, and they call them their DR500s, and you actually have to order them through UP Garage, but they're manufactured by Spectrum Motorsports. So, so on to the 47Rs. Um, this is some information pretty much straight from Spectrum's website. The 47R uses a 47 millimeter compressor uh, with a two-piece billet ported shroud. It actually helps to ensure a broad flow range. It has a ball bearing um, CHRA center housing it has a 12 to 16 uh, PSI adjustable wastegate. It also has a hand ported wastegate port. Um, so the specs for the actual turbo themselves on the turbine side is actually a 53 millimeter inducer with a 47 millimeter exducer with options for a 0.48 AR or a 0.64 AR turbine housing. On the compressor side, it's a 47 millimeter inducer and a 60 millimeter exducer with options for a 0.42 or a 0.6 AR compressor housing. Um, Spectrum actually claims that the 47R turbos can flow a maximum of 40 pounds per minute of airflow um, in a very compact package, which is pretty impressive actually. But if you look at the compressor map, um, the 47R in its, inf in its efficiency area actually flows closer to 33 to 34 pounds per minute. There's multiple configurations possible for the turbos as noted and again you can work with Spectrum. They can walk you through all the different decision points there. Um, and they even actually offer ceramic coating as an option which my turbos actually have on them. It's really great to see the development and support for these stock location twins, especially when everybody seems to be switching over to single turbos. Alright, so my turbos, this is how I ended up specking them out. Um, and they are going to be bolted onto my engine, which is going to be a 2.8 liter spool stroker with a step two V cam. Um, I'll do another video kind of just talking through uh, all of my uh, engine build plans and, and share that with you separately. Just want to keep this video pretty specific to the uh, Spectrum turbos. So my 47Rs have a 0.42 AR compressor side, and that is matched with a 0.46 AR on the turbine side, which is also ceramic coated. Um, and Spectrum's comments to me were that these turbos, similar to Garrett Dash 5s, but with the 0.64 housings, they should spool somewhere in the 2 to 300 RPM range faster. He said actually if you spec them out with a 0.48 AR turbine side, um, that the claimed uh, improvement in spool time over the Dash 5s is actually about 5 or 600 RPM, so that's pretty significant. Yeah, anyway, I'm really excited. It'll be great to have these turbos on the car and get everything buttoned back up. Um, you know, again, once I, uh, the way that everything worked 
is once I settled on the turbo uh, specifications, I paid half to start the process and then I paid the other half when they were finished and they shipped them out to me. It took about a week to get to me. I'm actually on the East Coast in the US and those guys are actually on the far West Coast in Canada. And uh, like I said, everything was great. Very simple process. I couldn't recommend Spectrum more. If you're looking for turbos for your own car, uh, these are definitely an option you could consider. All right, so here's something else that I had done. These are the stock manifolds, but I had them ceramic coated and I had the, um, I guess I had the openings here gasket matched. Um, so that way it should fit the gasket. So if you look at a stock manifold, let me see if I can turn this around a little bit. On the stock manifolds, these are actually just a little bit smaller than the gasket itself. It's actually smaller than where the turbo mates to it. Um, so what I've heard was is that it actually opening this up and, and matching this to the gasket size will help to to make the uh, the turbos a little bit more efficient. I'm hoping. I really have no idea, but this is uh, one of those things you see on the internet that everybody talks about doing is being beneficial. Um, here is the other one. The, the finish actually turned out really amazing. Um, I thought it was going to be a matte color, but it actually ended up being a gloss on the, uh, you know, this actually ended up being glossy instead of matte finished, but not a big deal. You're not going to be able to see it anyway. Um, hopefully this will help to keep the engine bay temperatures down. I hear that it can reduce the um, temperatures quite significantly, so really looking forward to getting these on as well. Um, I just wanted to, to have a quick overview of these turbos since uh, I didn't find a whole lot of information out there. Um, I actually wasn't going to make this video, but I thought if there was other people that are researching them, maybe they could find this and it would be helpful to them. Anyway, so I'm really keen to get these things put in. Again, I'll make another video doing an overview of all the stuff that I'm doing uh, with my engine build. That video should be coming out soon. Um, I have yet to film it, but it'll be soon. And... Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.